In today's video I am going to get out of my comfort zone and create a dramatic scene using only tones of red. Also stay tuned because I will announce the winners of the Magical Creatures contest. First thing I use this amazing photo and because I want a more dramatic uh, aspect on my uh, artwork I press Ctrl T, I made it bigger and I modify the angle of the horizon so uh, I try to have uh, the horizon on a diagonal line. After that I added a 6 pixel uh, Gaussian blur, added a noise filter, please watch this tutorial to see how easy it is to add a noise filter, and then I darken up everything using levels. And with the hue and saturation set to color, I have pressed colorized and moved the hues to the reds. And then I duplicated the layer again. Then I found this really cool picture of the moon on Unsplash uh, and sent the blending mode to screen. And then I added a 3 pixel Gaussian blur to the moon. And then I desaturated the right side of the image. Then I found this uh, really nice picture of those ruins. And I did the same thing with the horizon. I moved the image uh, counterclockwise and then added a mask and kept only this part. And I repeated exactly the same steps. Added a noise filter, uh, levels, duplicated the levels for more intense uh, shadows on the sides. Selective color this time on a layer set to color where I have modified the neutrals. And for the highlights and rim lights, please follow this tutorial. It's a complete tutorial to learn how you can add this type of uh, highlights and rim lights using linear dodge and color dodge. Then I repeated the process with um, this pillar of uh, skulls and bones. I rotate it uh, to have the same angle, place them uh, down below, noise filter, levels, selective color, some rim lights. And then uh, it took me some time to find the perfect picture for this uh, artwork, a perfect warrior, and I found this one. But only thing that I didn't like was the sword that uh, was upwards and I wanted a sword to be uh, downwards. So first thing was to select her from uh, that green uh, background. Uh, I added a mask to remove the sword. I, it took me a lot of time. I created a new layer and took the clone stamp tool by holding Alt and then trying to paint on the parts of the sword. Then I used uh, a part of this picture, the apps, to place them on top of the apps of my photo. And then I found this uh, photo with this sword and I selected the sword from this picture and uh, placed it here. And then I stayed a bit longer on the hair part and I drew some uh, hair. And because I wanted a more dramatic aspect, I wanted her cape to blow in the wind. I found this uh, picture from Fistock on DeviantArt, selected uh, only this part uh, of uh, the cape. Then uh, added a mask and right click, convert it to a smart object. and. Uh, Ctrl T, flip it horizontally and then go to filter, liquify and here I try to add a more, uh, as I said, more dramatic uh, blown in the wind uh, cape and I place that uh, behind my character and then I wanted to create some shadows so underneath my layer I went and I created a new layer and I set the blending mode to multiply, took the brush tool and here on the soft round brush I drag this point to the bottom and I try to rotate it a bit counterclockwise to have the same angle as the shoes, as the boots. And then hold Alt and click on uh, dark color but not black on the background. And uh, decrease a bit the size of the brush. And first thing that I'm doing on the shadows is to create the uh, contact shadows. So here I uh, started to paint to create the contact shadows. And I rotate it again to match the angle of the other boot. And then I create it by using the same method, the bigger shadow. The same thing layer set to multiply and for the rest is the same thing that i did on all the others uh, noise filter levels selective color then i added a bit of brightness and contrast uh, on the top i have painted some uh, rim lights using my uh, method with the uh, color dodge and uh, linear dodge and i did the same things on the eyes to make them red now for the rain i have used some rain textures and uh, I set the blending mode to color dodge. Then I added levels. I repeated the process a few times and I end up with uh, this result. And then for the raindrops, please watch uh, my rain tutorial. It's uh, a tutorial from my beginnings on YouTube, but I use the same method and the same brush here. And uh, I will use it again because it's a really cool uh, method to apply the raindrops.
And the thing that I forgot to tell you about was that behind the ruins I created some uh, fog. So I created a new layer and took a foggy brush and uh, sample uh, some colors from the background and I started to paint behind uh, the ruins. Now is the time for the camera row filter. So press Ctrl, Shift and I, right click, convert it to a smart object, then go to filter, camera row filter. And I use those settings. It was amazing to see so many good artists participating into my magical creature contest. I would like to thank you all for taking part of this contest. It took me a lot of time to decide the winners and because of the high level of so many entries, I decided to create a top 30 artworks and then reveal the top 10. In the 10th place we have this amazing digital drawing from AP Graphic Designs and I want to congratulate him for this effort. I wish I was able to draw like that too. I hope to learn in the future. Kai A Designs perfectly executed this classical Halloween theme design for the 9th place. For the 8th place Vivias amazed us with this pumpkin scarecrow man. I really love the orange and magenta tones that he used. Venja took the seventh place and impressed me a lot with the magical creatures and also by using her beautiful family. A really great effort to achieve this great result. The sixth place goes to Gweno DK with this mystical lion creature and he managed to create an incredible artwork just by using a few photos. On the fifth place we have a really different artwork that comes from Pixelboy96 who used perfectly the red and black tones to create this mystical bear warrior design. Eric Shoemaker took the fourth place with this incredible concept and execution, a really scary design that captured perfectly the Halloween spirit and I want to personally congratulate him for his progress. Fourth place goes to PMWPSD, a great artist that continued to inspire us with his creations. I love his concept, the magenta orange tones and overall it's a perfectly executed job. The second place goes to Adam, he is a former winner of one of my previous contests from last year and I must say that he evolved a lot since then. I am happy that I discovered him when not so many people knew him and I saw his progress ever since and this design speak for itself. It was really hard to give him the second place because he could easily win this contest. The first place and the winner of this contest and also the winner of Ohio HS610 tablet is Summer Dream Arts. I could not find any mistakes in this artwork, everything is crafted perfectly and I was really blown away when I saw this entry for my contest. I really don't know her but like in Adam's case I am sure that Amber will be the next rising star artist in the coming years. She has an incredible talent and I am happy that a lot of people will get to know her more and more from now on. I would like to thank everyone that participated in this challenge and remember taking part in this contest isn't about winning, it's about improving. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you want to master the glows and the highlights, check out this video next.